Okay, to the morgue we go. Man. Let's see, can't open that door. What's in here? Oh, I <laughs> see that rat go running up the wall there. <sighs> Minor medical report. Attending physician, Dr. N. H. F. Brown. January 6, 1952. Medical report. Report follows concerning the initial state of the 12 miners after the collapse of the mine and subsequent rescue at Blackwood Pines. Admittance. On receipt of the 12 patients at the sanatorium's medical facility, we had fully expected to find emaciated shells of men starved and confused. Thankfully, the miners appear cogent and relatively healthy, attributed to their apparent discovery of emergency food supplies in the mine. Inhibited respiratory function was detected in a few of the older men as predicted, as well as symptoms of pneumonia. Psychologically, after being trapped for 23 days, the shock of reintegration has been difficult for some of the group. Though their outward health is better than expected, they do seem affected by their time in the mine. Treatment due to the delicate nature of some of the patients, we have closed off the A-wing of the sanatorium. Psychological evaluations will take place as soon as possible. The men with respiratory problems have undergone a bronchoscopy and are prescribed a course of stere or streptomycin. The others are simply kept under strict 24-hour observation. Dr. Nicholas Henry Fallis Bowen. And as usual, somebody wrote something in the back. One of those guys actually tried to bite me. I'm going to report it to Dr. Bowen. Okay. So that is another... Uh, 1952 clue. Miners rescued from the mine are, were healthier than expected, although some had exhibited reintegration problems update. The report mentions 12 miners, but there were 30 clocking in cards retrieved from the mine. There's no indication of what happened to the other 18 miners. Um, they ate them. They were healthier than expected. They thought they'd be all emaciated, but no, they were fine because they ate the other miners and it turned them into zombies or something or other. I don't know. All right. Can we pick up a different light? This one isn't very bright. I am none too excited about going down into this dark morgue. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Scary sound effects and all. What are those sound effects? All right, I want to see something here real quick. Um, so we had the... Uh, the... I guess, it, I think it was a guidance totem. Okay, he's petting a dog. I wanted to see if I could figure out where in the sanatorium he's doing this. We're in front of a double set of doors. And it looks like the white dog to me. So, all I know is that a double set of doors, it may be the doors that lead to the chapel. Where we saw the two dogs and the, and the maniac, as it were. Okay... So, something over here. So this looks like a door we can open. And this is blocked off. Okay. Hello, bird. Okay, there's a knife stuck in the table there. Oh, shit. Gross. Gross indeed. Take it. There you go. Now who's the killer? Oh yeah, look at that. He just happens to have a loop on his belt there. Nice. So oh, I think there's a place behind me. But I'm going to walk over here first to see if there's anything to see. Uh, music's getting a little tense here. I'm not liking it. No, sir, I'm not. I'm not finding anything. Uh oh. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, th this is 
What could... Uh, who? Who the hell would it... How many days will they keep us here? There's some pinups there. How many days will they keep us here? Is that a clue? It's not showing up as a clue. It's messed up, yo. How many days will they keep us here? Gosh, could you make it any more confusing to walk around this place? Now I have no idea where I came from. Oh shit, there goes one of the dogs. Not real sure how the shadow works there, but... Where the hell did I come from, damn it? Well, I don't think I've been in this room yet. <sighs> Reply immediately. Reporters and other snoopers to be kept away at all costs. Telegram. Western hey, province. Who wouldn't want press snooping around this paradise? Uh, let's see. Dr. Richard Castle, Blackwood Sanitarium. To Mr. J. Bragg. Incident update. Twelve survivors received at sanatorium. Showing signs of a mental trauma may need to contain. Local press now have scent of blood. Becoming a problem. Please... Advice further. Okay. Alright, so we know that the press is a problem. Uh, oh, the mine danger map has been updated? Update, according to the telegram, the owners were trying to cover this up. Okay, I didn't really gather that. Telegram warning about press interest in the survivors. Brought to the sanatorium, the mine owners were trying to cover something up. Okay. Man, I am, I'm lost now. I got this stupid camera angle BS. I don't know which room we came in. Like, did we come from this direction? I don't even know. Where did we come from? And I know we've been in here. I was kind of hoping that something would look familiar. Okay, there's where that message was. What's going on here? Oh, this won't be scary at all. Oh, fuck me. Holy shit. Oh, what happened here? Restraining chair. A chair with leather straps to restrain the patient. There's blood on it. It looks like it was used as part of a weird experiment. Yeah, weird experiment. Okay, alright, I can't go in there. Alright, is this... What the hell? Oh, okay... Um... Alright, I... Kind of lost. You know, this is where we came in, and um, it's kind of keeping us from going that way. Huh. Uh huh. Okay. Well, at least we saw the retraining chair. So I think we need to go in here and go around this way. And now we go around here. We've already been in that room. This is where we saw the dog. The shadow of the dog. Okay, that's pretty cool looking. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? Okay, this... There's a light over there, but we can't seem to get over there. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see what's going on in here. Little mouse or rat running across there. What the hell? Is this that same chair we saw earlier? I think this is the same chair we saw earlier. We're just on the other side of it now. That's kind of interesting the way they've done that. Alright, well we saw the chair. Let's go in here now. <laughs> uh, time to turn around. <laughs> the fuck? I thought I saw something flash on the ground, but I guess not. The fuck? Yeah, I'll get to that here in a minute. Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this what he was feeding them? Is this what who was feeding who? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, oh, um, um, uh, uh, what are you gonna do, dude? Oh, no, try to pry it open. Try to pry it open. What are you doing? Do something. Open, open bear trap. Dude. Come on, open it. Come on, dude, you can do it. Come on. Come on, dude, you can do it. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on, dude. Do it. Oh, no, you're screwed now. Oh, now you are doubly screwed. Yep. See you later, fingers. Oh, shit. Oh 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 shit. Butterfly effect update. Let's check it out. At what price? Mike hacked off his own fingers. Mike no longer had a usable machete after hacking off his fingers? Oh, for crying out loud. Probably because I tried to open the trap first. Status update. Find the key card to open the chapel door. I don't really know how much of a status update that was, but hey. Alright. Now what? So, there was a dog or something coming. Okay, something here. What the? This just gets better and better. Whoa. Strange skull. Yeah, that's pretty strange. It looks kind of like the thing that uh, ate Mike, doesn't it? Or Matt. In that vision. That's what it looks like to me. A disfigured human head suspended in formaldehyde. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's a door. Yeah, let's just go looking in these things. Why not? 
gross. Oh yeah, <laughs> let's pull this out. Oh! <laughs> hey! Look what we got. Neato. Okay, let's check this out. Okay. Really? Use the key card on the chapel door. Okay, that wasn't a clue, that's just uh, an inventory item. Okay. Uh, there's another one we could look in here. Why not? Ooh, a note. I like notes. Found death certificate, registration of death, medical certificate of death, name of deceased Sarah Smith, date of death February 24th 1952 I hereby certify that I attended deceased from March 8th 1951 oh, that's a long time to February 24th 1952 and something something severe lacerations to the abdomen is a cause of death intra abdominal injuries subsequent blood loss Anything on the back of course there's some on the back uh, body was not discovered until six to eight hours after death. Sections of the intestine and kidneys were apparently eaten by the attacker. Well, how's that make you feel? So... Right here. Hastily written death certificate dated 24th February 1952. It describes the body as partially eaten. Okay, last or alive. If death was due to external causes, violence, fill in also the following. Accident, suicide, or homicide. Homicide. Manner of injury, laceration by sharp implement, possibly fingernails. Additional notes. Please use the box provided over leaf for any additional relevant information. Signed by N. Bowen, M.D. Address, Blackwood Sanitarium, date February 24th, 1952. Okay. It's messed up, yo. Okay. Ah, toe tag. What does this say? Uh, somebody was attacked by an inmate. Fatal lacerations to throat. A mortuary tag. The name on it reads Nicholas Bowen. Emergency medical, t medical tag. Name Nicholas Bowen. Tag to date February 24th, 1952. Description attack by inmate. Fatal lacerations to throat. Okay. And now there's a door here that leads to the chapel. Oh, how about that? Security pass required. Cha-ching! All right, here we go. I'll take that. I'm glad he was smart enough to take it with him. You never know, you might need it again. You know what? I don't feel so bad that Joshua's killed. It's his fault that everybody's back up here again, so... See you later. <laughs>